iOS 4.3 was released yesterday by Apple on the Developers Center. Uh, this is the first beta of it. I will just open it up. Um, there's not a lot new. Uh, if you go into settings, I can just show you basically. There's a new setting there. You can actually use the side switch now, and you can choose whether you want it for mute or lock rotation, which is good because I was going mental um, flicking the switch thinking it was lock rotation and it was mute and it was driving me nuts. So now I've got it back. Um, you can also see below here multitasking gestures. Um, this is not um, on the stock ISPW file. You do have to activate it yourself by plugging it into Xcode and turning on the developer settings. Um, and then this appears because it is basically very, very, um, I think it's alpha. Um, but it's very good, it does work. Um, basically, you use four, five, four fingers or five fingers um, to multi touch on the screen. Uh, this comes after rumours that Steve Jobs wants to remove the home button from iOS devices because um, multitasking is just more natural, more fluid, easier to do. Um, I'll demonstrate it to you now. So, if we four finger um, pinch, or in fact, five finger pinch because it's easier to do, goes back to the home screen. But you can see it's completely fluid. If I keep my fingers on the screen, um, the settings app does fade in and out again. Like that. If you go back into settings then, um, and we four finger swipe to the left, you can see it opens Safari, uh, the App Store, or iTunes, Twitter. So we've got the multitasking feature as well, which you can just navigate through like that which is a very cool feature again. Um, if we go to the very far left and then try and go right, you can see it stretches, and then it, when you let go it pulls back like elastic, which um, Apple has got trademarked. So it has the elastic feature as well built in. And finally, four fingers up brings up the multitasking bar at the bottom, and then four fingers down will get rid of it. Um, it is very fluid and it comes very naturally to you. Um, I I rather obviously do all these magical gestures rather than press the home button to or double tap home button. The problem I've got is that because um I I use my devices a lot, my iOS devices, the home button tends to go all squishy and then and eventually it doesn't work. So having um controls on the screen uh is much much better and a very good idea to have indeed. So that is basically iOS 4.3 for iPad. I've got it for iPhone as well, um, but it's uh, not on my phone yet. But hopefully it's it's got some cool features as well, um, and hopefully the, the new beaters will have more stuff as well. Fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.